All right, let's go to some other issues here in New South Wales. The jurisdiction, we're told, be, could become the first in Australia to sentence criminals convicted of historical offences using today's legal standards under a new proposal under consideration by Attorney General Mark Speakman. It comes as a district court judge slammed current sentencing laws as strange and he says woefully inadequate after he was forced to apply different standards in the sentencing of serial rapist Gregory John Richardson. In sentencing the so-called Epping Rapist, Judge Peter Berman was forced to use historical standards for offences against a 16-year-old female and 25-year-old female and current standards for offences against two girls under the age of of 16. For more on this, I'm joined from Sydney by Legal Affairs contributor at The Australian, Chris Merritt. Chris, it, it's, look, it's a complicated issue, but I think it's something people really need to get their head around at home because, because it's under active consideration by the Attorney General in, in New South Wales. In simple terms, what's the government proposing? Well, what they're not proposing is retrospective criminal laws, retrospective penalties. Uh, what they're trying to do, they're having a review, and what they're trying to do mm -hmm. is see if they can impose sentencing principles, current sentencing, sense, sentencing principles, when offenders are sentenced for historical events. Now, the example is this. If uh, uh, an historical uh, sexual assault um, it comes to a court 30 years after it takes place. Mm -hmm. At the moment, the sentencing principles that apply are those that were in force at the time of the offence. Now, that can result in aberrant outcomes. It, there's also a severe inconsistency. The New South Wales government has already made this change for child sexual offences. So if you're under 16 um, and an offence takes place, the offender is sentenced using current sentencing principles, not those that were in force at the time. Now, there's a review going on. It's not a simple matter. Um, this could result in heavier sentences for all offenders. This is not just a sexual offence review. This covers all criminal mm -hmm. offences. Now, it's complex. That's why the, it's good that there's a re review taking place. There's a, a common law rule that um, is having... It, it's going to be looked at and it, it concerns two offenders. If two offenders commit an offence 30 years ago, one's caught immediately and sentenced at the time and the other one is caught 20 years later, the common law rule says that they should both be sentenced using the same rules. Now, that the question is... Is that an aberration or should that common law rule be adjusted? Now, that's all part of what Mark Speakman, the New South Wales attorney, is attempting to find out. He's not rushing into this, which is a good thing, uh, because if there's a, any inkling of retrospective, the imposition of retrospective criminal laws, it could offend the rule of law principle, which would make that um, problematic. However, uh, there is an argument that the, the change, if it can avoid an aberration and it still results in a form of retrospective legislation, criminal legislation, it might well be the lesser of two mm. evils. It might well be acceptable. But we're a long way from that. But that's the goal. Mark Speakman says this review will take about six months. He's going to consult with a range of uh, players in... Um, in and around the legal system and the issue. Where do you think sort of victims and, and lawyers and judges would line up on this? Is there likely to be support? Is there consensus on, uh, on, on reform here, do you think? Look, I think if the, it depends on uh, the review. There will be soundings with stakeholders. Um, will, uh, the Rule of Law Institute, um, my organisation, will be making a submission on this. But my initial response is this. If it results in the elimination of aberrant sentences, sentences that the community would view as aberrant, I think it would be mm -hmm. acceptable. Uh, but I think let's wait and see the, the, uh, the outcome of the review. But that principle, that common law principle against the retrospective 
imposition of criminal liability, that's very important. Mm -hmm. But the, you've got to balance it up against what's at stake here.